It's another stable vlog recording, and you're on my desk tripod that I don't really like right now, but didn't feel like setting up the real tripod, so I'm using this one because it's easy. Yeah, we're back to old school late night recording uh, for this episode. I just got a uh, little inspiration to record a video. I, I, I've been thinking a lot recently why uh, why certain movies just don't cut it for me anymore. Uh, it used to be a day when uh, if there was a comic book movie I was excited. And when I watched it I was like oh heck yeah that was awesome. Uh, I'm talking about the old school Batmans, uh, the original, uh, not the original original, but the original Sam Raimi Spider-Mans, uh, even Daredevil. I enjoyed Daredevil, so that wasn't that too long ago. But nowadays, I run into going to see a movie and coming out extremely disappointed. Uh... Not that I didn't like the movie, but just that I, I, I thought it should have been quite a bit better. I'm um, thinking, uh, The Amazing Spider-Man, uh, Spider I, I, I didn't like it at all. Uh, it was, it was pretty, but that was it. Everything in that was extremely subpar. Uh, The Dark Knight Returns was just lazy. Uh, I didn't hate it. Kinda liked it. But, it just felt like Nolan made a movie because he wanted to finish the trilogy. It didn't feel, feel like Nolan made a movie because Nolan really wanted to make a movie. Uh, Plot Holes Glore is not good. Uh, what else? There was another movie last year that I can't remember. This year, uh, Superman. I actually think Superman was better than most people. Uh, but it, it missed the mark. It, it was just off. Iron Man, however, was awesome. Uh, so I was trying to, uh, figure out why that is. And I think it's because of things like Marvel Studios. Iron Man was awesome. The Avengers was amazing. Uh, every Marvel movie except for Iron Man 2, and that had its, its charms, uh, has been amazing. Has been one of the greatest comic book movies ever made. And it's because they aren't necessarily trying to stick to canon, because they're not. It's because they have the spirit, almost, of the comic there, the characters, um, I, I, I don't really know, it's a, they're respecting the medium, they're not trying to make something out of the characters that they're not, out of the stories that they're not, it, it in retrospect, looking at the Nolans, Nolan is trying to make a Batman that works as a typical Christopher Nolan style movie. Uh, Sony is trying to make a Spider-Man that acts like a dollar bill in their pocket. Uh, they were trying to reboot Superman into something that the current audience would love. And they're really losing the spirit of the characters. Uh, my my biggest, I mean, maybe not my biggest, but right up there, uh, gripe with The Dark Knight Returns was that that Batman had spent eight years not doing anything. And then he just gives up on Gotham.
Batman is the character who would never give up on Gotham. In the animated universe, Batman Beyond, this is a bit of a spoiler, so if you haven't uh, watched all of Justice League Unlimited, uh, warning, Batman Beyond, it was revealed that he was a clone of Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne cloned himself so that Gotham would always have Bruce Wayne defending it uh, because he knew that he was getting old and would have to quit. That's Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne does not quit for anything. Superman does not kill for anything. He also, you know, doesn't destroy his, his entire city, his entire hometown. He tries to protect things. This Superman didn't try to protect anything. Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man was just so far off base, I'm not even gonna try to fix it. Uh, but anyway, just some thoughts that I had going through my head. I really hope DC gets their movie universe together. I hope they take some notes from Marvel. Uh, more from Marvel and less from Christopher Nolan. Uh, not that Christopher Nolan isn't a great director. He isn't a great director. I loved Inception. Uh, I loved his first two Batman movies. Uh, the Dark Knight was one of the greatest Batman movies that's ever been made. Probably because he doesn't quit. <laughs> uh, and the Superman movie was better than Superman Returns. Though I'm one of the few people who kind of enjoyed Superman Returns. Uh, I enjoyed the campiness of it. The, the fact that it felt like just continuing right after uh, the... Uh, Christopher Reeves, uh, Superman, I thought they did a very good job of that, but anyway, that's it, um, or the reason I was th thinking that, uh, for a video today is because the Wolverine is coming up, and I am not <sighs> looking forward to it, I actually walked out of Wolverine Origins, or X-Men Origins, Wolverine, whatever they wanted to call it. Um, it was horrible. Just really bad. Uh, I'm probably going to watch the Wolverine. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to enjoy it or not. Um, but, yeah, there's that. X-Men First Class was amazing. Uh, that's the only non-Marvel Marvel Marvel. Uh, non-Marvel Studios, Marvel property, that uh, in recent days has been completely amazing. I loved it. Uh, I actually think it was Wolverine's best performance uh, ever in a movie. But anyway, I'll let that be the end. This is going to take a while to upload as it is. So, uh... Bibbidi-bobbidi-beep. <laughs>